Hello 10 standard students. In today's class, we are going to see the difference between the disadvantages and advantages of different types of printers. As we did the types of printer in our previous class, today we will see the advantages and disadvantages of various types of printers. So, we will start with the laser printer and uh, we will we'll just go through the one of my notes. So, here we are uh, comparing the laser printer with its advantages and disadvantages so let us start so laser printers are faster it provides the world most rapid print as compared to the other available printers so it is one of the fastest computer available and uh, then it is cheaper per unit less operating cost so the when we calculate the cost of per page printing so it comes to the cheaper end and uh, best for large printing volume the toners last longer and provide more printout than ink cartridges uh, the ink cartridges we use in a uh, desk set or bubble jet printers uh, so it is reliable and durable the printing of uh, this printer is more reliable and durable means it lasts long it, it is quite a noise free it does not produce any noise that is why it is called a non impact printer and it comes uh, when the quality of this printer is talked about it is the high quality output of the text is produced by the laser printers but at the same time we have some disadvantages like uh, expensive to purchase the cost of uh, printing uh, printer itself is very costly the overall price of a laser printer might be costly then it accept limited print media can't print on heat transfer papers so there, there are certain uh, papers uh, size paper that we can use uh, for printing while using a laser printer and uh, it is not uh, recommended for all sort of papers and then poor graphics for photos the printing done by this printer is not good for the very high end uh, graphical printings and not able to produce high quality photographic prints then power consumption it can heat your room so the uh, power consumption by this printer is uh, very high and uh, it also uh, creates the more uh, the heat and it can heat our uh, room also so they are bulkier than desktop or inkjet printer they are uh, bigger in size and uh, the machine inside is uh, bulkier than the other printers like this uh, desk jet or uh, inkjet printers then it need warm up time before start printing so uh, when we start a laser printer it takes some time to uh, heat up so these are the disadvantages of laser jet printers and then next is inkjet printers so the, what are the advantages of inkjet printers the initial cost of an inkjet printer is really cheap because uh, we use a cartridge and uh, uh, we, it's the printing cost of a inkjet printer cost us uh, lesser price and then uh, inkjet printers are recommended for high resolution photo printing so the printer uh, the quality is good when we print it through the laser jet printers an inkjet printer does not need wake up time so unlike this uh, laser printer this inkjet printers does not take that much of time to boot up an inkjet printer is much compact in size the size of an inkjet printer is smaller as compared to the laser jet printers all the inkjet printers are light weighted and plug and play kind of device so it is sort of portable device and uh, uh, it is very good for the home use or uh, small offices purposes so it's light weighted and uh, we can just have to plug and we can start taking the printouts they are extremely quiet while in operation even quieter than the dot matrix printers dot matrix printers which are on uh, impact printers so these they are uh, quieter these inkjet printers are much quieter than the dmps and uh, about the disadvantages of a uh, inkjet printer 
since inkjet printers are designed for low volume printing they suffer from slow speed the speed of the printing in inkjet printer is not that fast as the laser jet printers or the dmp printers for that matter and then secondly inkjet printers are not designed for high volume printing they cannot take very high volume printing uh, very much uh, printing in one go uh, we can take up to 500 or 600 pages in uh, with one cartridge so if we have to go for more than a this number of printing so it is not suitable for inkjet printer so a common issue that most inkjet printer face is the ink clogging so when not in use for a long time so ink clogged in between the cartridges so this is a one uh, common issue with the inkjet printers since it needs frequent cartridge replacement the overall cost can increase significantly and when we are using the inkjet printers uh, for a few work then it is okay with the cost of our cartridges and the printing price but then if uh, we are using it for a high volume printing then we need to frequently uh, change uh, or refill our cartridges for the printer and then it will the cost will go high so this is one of the disadvantage with the inkjet printers means uh, it is for a moderate uh, users they are less durable the print out output is less durable if will not keep it safe for a long time and then then the print or the colors may get faded it is not possible to use a highlighter marker on this type of documents when we are taking a print out through a inkjet printer all the document with a highlighter or a high, uh, highlight text uh, they does not appear in the printouts taken out by the inkjet printers so next is a dot matrix printer so let us read the advantages of dot matrix printer the dot matrix printers are cheap and easily available in the market so dmp printers are cheaper in price and they are easily available they can make carbon copies of the printout unlike non impact printers so this is the only printer dmps which is many uh, which is uh, commonly used and then second advantage is that we can take the carbon copies in one go like uh, we can use the stationary uh, the papers in this printer which already have a car uh, this carbon pasted with them so means in one go we can take a print out with the carbon copy so it, only this dot matrix printer support such kind of stationery and no other printer can support so it is uh, one of the biggest advantage of a dot matrix printer the printing cost are the lowest as compared to the printer so this printer's cartridge cost is lowest as compared to any other printer we usually have a ribbon cartridges used in this dmps and uh, we can replace it and, and the price of that cartridge itself is very less so the printout fades gradually rather than coming to a halt suddenly you therefore get plenty of time to change the ribbon before crisis emergency means in between the usage of a printer we can change the cartridge if if we see the the ink of a cartridge is getting faded so this is one of the ad, uh, advantage like uh, the changing of a cartridge is not much of a, a task in when we use a dmps so they use continuously unlike uh, papers unlike any other printers that require frequent change of a paper so here we have a continuation change stationery so uh, when we talk about a stationery so dmp has a wide variety of papers that can be used in it and then continuous sheet continuously printing papers can also be used in dmps uh, you must have seen it in the banks or any uh, offices the maintenance cost is low as compared to other printers so the maintenance of this printer is also very less so it can work in a very rough condition also so they tolerate dirty and hot condition are found in the industrial environment and then as i just told you that the, the working environment the it does not need a sophisticated environment to work on and any uh, filthy area also it can work very easily 
So these are the advantages of dot matrix printer, but at the same time, there are some disadvantages, like the output is not highly resolution. In the, the resolution, the quality of the printout is not that good, and mostly it uh, prints only black and white printing. The printer creates great deal of noise while the pin strike the ribbon of the paper because of the uh, continuous physical contact of the head and the paper. So it uh, produce a great deal of noise. So it is that is why it comes under the impact printers category. The pin get bended easily to strike the printer because there is a continuous uh, contact between the printer and the ribbon and the paper. So uh, that uh, results to the destroying of a print head the single sheet of a paper has to wound and align by hand which is time consuming and hectic when we are using a single sheet for the print on here we have to do the alignment uh, which is not as uh, easy as it was in other printers like uh, desert printer or the laser printers so the density of the barcode is low and may fail to match user standards so the Printing quality, it is about printing quality and sometimes uh, when we take the print out, the print out quality itself is not that good as per the our specification or our requirements. Color print out is limited and the print speed is also lesser as compared to non impact printers. We, we hardly see any uh, color DMP printers because uh, mostly they are available in uh, black and white uh, prints. In case of any problem, fixing is Fixing it here is not an easy task. So once get out of order, these printers uh, take a lot of time and it is not that easy to fix the problems in desert printers, DMP printers, DM, DMP printers. Next is the drum printers. The advantage of drum printers are that uh, this printer can print multiple copies in one go. So the papers are rolled on over the drum and then in one go. Uh, so multiple copies can be printed uh, this uh, newspaper printing is example of drum printers drum printers are very fast and can print 300 to 2000 lines per minute so this is the speed of a drum printer that it can print 300 to 2000 lines per minute the printing cost are the lowest as compared to other printers so this is the cheapest uh, the as per the cost is uh, concerned the it comes to the always cheaper end so drum printers are very useful where bulk of printing job is required so mostly it is used for in the publishing houses or a print media so where a bulk of printing job is required there there only we can use a drum printers uh, the disadvantage disadvantages of drum printers are drum printers are very expensive and drum printers can print only predefined set of characters we cannot change the format in between then drum printer cannot be used to print graphics very less graphic or no graphic can be printed through a drum printers and drum printers are very noisy and produce sound while in operation and these are the loudest printing machines uh, in the entire category so these are the advantages and disadvantages of various type of printers we have studied in our previous class next is about the fax machine Next is a fax machine. It, a fax machine, the short for fax machine is a facsimile machine, a device that can send or receive pictures and a text over a telephone line. A fax machine works by digitizing an image, dividing it into a grid of dots. So when we have to send a document to a far off places, so it sends the document in a digital format. So we can see uh, it, it just work like a printer, and uh, but uh, we can see that print out in a distance form means we can send any document to a distance location distant location using a fax so how it does all this is uh, each dot is either in on or off depending on whether it is black or white electronically each dot is represented by one bit and has a value of either zero or one so it works on a bit it uh, all the zero and one and they are called a bitmap and uh, it is attached through a telephone line and as for the history of a fax machine is concerned, the idea of the fax machine has been around since 1842 when Alexander Bain invented a machine capable of receiving signal from a telegraph wire and translating them into images of paper. In 1850, London inventor named F.C. Blakewell received a patent for a similar machine which he called a copying telegraph. 
So this is a fax machine for you.